Hello everybody, I am NotPug, and today we are doing another origin review. For today's origin, we are reviewing the Satoru Gojo origin. And in case you don't know who Satoru Gojo is, he is a character from a very popular anime called Jujutsu Kaisen. Are you for real? I'm for real real. Satoru Gojo is a very, very powerful Jujutsu sorcerer, and he is capable of unleashing devastating attacks. And with this origin, you'll be able to do just that. This origin was created by Shrumpel in the Origins Discord, which is where you can download both the resource pack that you require for this origin, as well as the origin itself. Let's get into the origin showcase. The Satoru Gojo origin. It doesn't have any description, but for our first power, we have Domain Expansion. And I believe it's supposed to be Unlimited Void, but it kind of cut off for me. But it is bound to your primary key. Domain Expansion. Infinite Void. The, this Domain Expansion brings the user and their targets inside the Limitless itself. A vast void of infinite knowledge. Boundless raw information floods into the target's mind, overwhelming them to the point where they're completely immobilized. After the entering animation, all targets are stunned for 15 seconds, although the user cannot use any active abilities for the 15 second duration. And as an additional note, you also have constant infinity, which we can get into what that is later in the video. So that was a lot to absorb, but basically, if I have a bunch of mobs, and I press primary, it will... Okay, I was not expecting the audio. <laughs> but as you can see, it does take you into a domain. So I think this is a custom dimension. And just as an additional note, it does bring in a new texture pack that you will have to apply before this. But anywho, everything in here is immobilized, and then after it's done, you all teleport back to where you were before. Let's get into the second power. For our second power, we have Hollow Purple. This is bound to your secondary key. Imaginary technique, Hollow Purple. And by combining Reversal and Red, Lapse Blue together, you create an imaginary mass. After a four second charge up, you shoot out this purple imaginary mass that travels 60 blocks, destroying and dealing true damage to anything it hits. That is pretty ridiculous. So, let's use it. <laughs> so, let's press our secondary, and it gets this really cool animation. We get this point ahead of us, and it destroys everything in our path. That is super, super cool. And there's a pretty long cooldown on it. For our third power, we have Reversal Red, Explode. And this is bound to your Load Toolbar Activator Key. Curse Technique Reversal Red. After a short one second startup, you explode a radius around you with red energy, destroying blocks and damaging slash repelling mobs. So let's get a few uh, test subjects which we honestly should have done for the hollow purple, but I think we know what would have happened to the pigs. But anyways, so this is for me bound to my, where is this? V key. So it will not be bound to anything for you, but let's do V. And boom. So it is just a really strong explosion but it also had a very cool sound effect and particle effects. For our fourth power, we have Lapse Blue Pool. So it, this is bound to your save toolbar activator key. <laughs> Which is the complete opposite of Reversal Red. Instead of repelling, it attracts. Upon activation, it pulls all mobs players' items in a 10 block radius to you, stunning them for 2 seconds. And for me, this is bound to my B. So, like before, let's get some more test subjects. And by pressing B, it pulled them all in, and they also took a little bit of damage. 
And that also used the sound effect from the JJK show, so that was actually pretty cool. Was not expecting that. For our next ability, we have Infinity. And this is using your ternary key, so you do actually need the Origins Extra Keybinds mod, which is pretty easy to download. It You can just download it alongside the Origins mod. But anyways, by toggling this on, you create an infinite distance between yourself and the rest of the world, preventing anything from touching you. Invincibility. But it drains a lot of Cursed Energy passively. And in case you didn't know, Cursed Energy is this blue bar that we've had here, basically relatively untouched this whole time, but using this, it will start draining it. So this is bound to my H key. And as you can see, it's going to start draining me. But let's, for example, let's get a, a pillager in here. And I believe that he should not. Yeah, he is not able to shoot me or anything. And it is pretty cool because it also does push them. Which, if you did watch the anime, it actually does do that, which is pretty, pretty cool. Let's get on to our next power. For our next power is one that I'm really looking forward to. It is Six Eyes. It is a three minute mode that you can activate by pressing your spectator outlines key. This gives you heightened senses, which lets you see through mobs and blocks, a small chance to dodge attacks every time you're hit, and access the ability variations and extra speed. So let's go through all the ability variations that this mode brings before we use it. So for purple, when you are in six eyes mode, it will start swirling blue and red into the sky. You will float upwards and then you will start chanting. And then once you're done with it, it will fire it forward. You, but in wait, oh, sorry, sorry. Instead of firing this forward, you explode it on the spot, dealing destruction and true AOE damage. So that's for hollow purple. For blue, you get a giant point of attraction and its amplified point of cursed energy draws in all entities and items around it towards its point. Basically a stronger version from what I can tell. And the red one, I believe, is just an also stronger version, just so we can get past all that text because it can be a little confusing but overall it is stronger with red probably just having the also added ability of teleporting as well so let's try those out so for me it is bound to j so let's use j and now i can basically see everything from a long distance so since hollow is on cooldown let us try blue first or is it red oh no this one is hollow purple and there it is so what i'm assuming it is just a stronger version let's test the other abilities my six eyes mode is bound to my j so when i press it i can start seeing everything around me and with that all your abilities the expanded ones you have to use shift this is something that I got confused with a little bit too, but once reading it over again, I got the gist of it. So let us do that. So if I shift and then use my secondary, I will start getting this very cool effect. Oh, I just cannot move. <laughs> okay, this is a super sick. Oh, wow. Okay, that is not what I was expecting. I did not want to talk over that just because of how cool that was. That was super well made. Okay, but in case you didn't see what was happening, basically you float up in the air. You cannot move during that time. So you are vulnerable, but you shoot out basically an explosive hollow purple with a very cool animation rather than a beam. So depending on which one you want to use, you can either shift to just explode on the spot or you can not use shift so you can point it like a beam. So since we're still in six eyes mode, we can use the next ability. So while shifting and using my other key for red, then just like in the description, if I get damaged, I will teleport behind them 
look upside down and push them super, super far away. And actually, I'm not sure if that exploded the blocks here, but I'm assuming it did. And for our last ability, we have the blue. So let us shift and increase the blue. So that basically creates a point that destroys everything in front of me, but also attracts things to it. Honestly, super, super cool and very destructive. So be very careful where you use this around your friend's house, any important builds, because it will destroy it without leaving blocks. So that basically covers the six eyes mode and all the amplified abilities. So let's go on to the next few things. So our next thing is cursed energy. That is basically the bar. It, refl it replenishes over time passively and you cannot use abilities without cursed energy, obviously. So let's move on to the next one. We also have cursed technique master. So all these abilities you cannot unlock from the get go. You have to unlock them through a progression system. So each one has its own requirements to unlock like unlimited void, which is the domain. You have to deal a thousand damage using purple. Another thing with hollow purple, you have to do that with blue or red and for reversal red, kill 100 mobs. So from what I can tell, blue is by default your main attack that you're going to be using. For our next ability, we have imbue. By imbuing yourself with cursed energy, you can move faster than the average person. So it's just a basic little speed in case you haven't already noticed throughout the video. For our next ability, we have Reliance. You completely rely on infinity, therefore there's no need for me to wear any armor. So if I give myself a diamond, uh, let's go for boots. If I go for diamond boots, I am completely unable to wear it. Let's move on to our next ability. We have Cursed Energy Exhaustion. If you run out of Cursed Energy, you will get Slowness and Weakness 2 for 20 seconds. So that one's pretty self-explanatory. Unaccustomed. You rely on using your Cursed Techniques, Red, Blue, Purple, Domain Expansion, to deal damage. Therefore, you haven't practiced any type of weapon, including shields. So if I give myself a shield and let's go for, I don't know, a diamond axe then I cannot use it. As you can see, both have the unusable thing and I can swing it, use it as a tool, but I cannot deal damage with it. And for our last ability, we have off guard. Infinity usually prevents you from taking damage. So when you do take damage, you're often caught off guard, causing you to sustain more than usual. 1.3 times more damage from all sources. So kind of like in JJK, where Toji snuck up on J Gojo, you basically are very vulnerable when you don't have infinity up. So you basically want to have infinity up. Oh, did not mean to use that whenever you can. But obviously this consumes cursed energy. So you're going to want to reserve it whenever you're in danger. Overall, this is a super, super cool origin that I honestly am super astonished that was even possible to make. So I highly recommend you guys check it out. It is super, super cool. And you should definitely watch JJK. I'm not Pug, and I will see you next time. Peace.